Guys, howdy, what's the crack? Apologies there in the last video, my audio wasn't working, so I talked to myself for about 10 minutes before seeing all the comments. <laughs> um, what I was going to say to you is, uh, this is what's coming, I want to explain to you what's coming, and hopefully you can hear me, so I'll wait for a few people to hop on the live, and, um, and then we'll get cracking, so I'll just do my intro while we're waiting, but you can confirm that my audio is working. Uh, welcome to the channel, my name is Dini. Uh, I run Ireland's first Bitcoin consulting company and for the last four years we've helped people to understand Bitcoin, to custody their Bitcoin securely, um, off-site, out of the country, if needed, um, and um, and to understand it so they can use it basically to build their plans to retire early. Uh, you can check out BitcoinMedini.com to see all the ways we help you do that and achieve that. Uh, just be careful of scammers online. I'll never reach out to you or message you. I'll reply to your messages, but I'll never message you first. So if you ever get a message from me, it's not me. Okay, so just be aware of that. The only way to work with us is through my website. Um, so, this is what's coming to Bitcoin. I'd like to explain this to you. So last night we had Peter Dunworth on and uh, in the Retire Early Club. So the Retire Early Club is it's, it's a group of people that we take in. It's a year of membership in the club. Um, and we basically teach you everything you need to know to retire early. Basically how to understand Bitcoin, how to build a Bitcoin pension plan, all the financial stuff, all the mindset stuff, all the basic finance stuff, uh, tax stuff, business stuff, everything. You have a year of education. We meet every two weeks on Zoom and we cover a particular topic or the market. And uh, we bring in expert guests into the, uh, into the retirement club meeting. Last night we had Peter Dunworth on. If someone could just drop into the comments there, let me know is the audio working okay. Um, so I don't talk to myself now for another 20 minutes. <laughs> well, I do it all day, any day. anyway, lads. But uh, we brought on Peter Dunbert into the Retirely Club last night. And uh, who Peter is, Peter runs a family office and basically his job is to look after the wealth of high net worth people. So very wealthy families. His job is to keep them very wealthy or to help them even wealthier, uh, become even wealthier. And he's a Bitcoin expert. So uh, it was awesome to have him in and uh, he presented to the guys um, a presentation about Bitcoin and then stayed on. He, we had him on the call for two hours and then he answered everyone's individual question. Now that is insane value for a start because to meet someone like this and to speak someone like this is telephone numbers on a one-to-one -one basis. And this is the beauty of the retire early group. They're getting access to these people uh, in a group setting in an affordable way. So it's really huge value just plug on the retire early club. You should try and get in when we open up for membership again. Um, but Peter gave us a presentation on Bitcoin and told us about what's to come. Now I love when my thesis lines up with someone who I think is much smarter than me. So when I hear Michael Saylor talking about a concept that I've already figured out in my head, I'm like, then you're onto a winner. Or I hear Peter Dunworth talking about a concept that I've already figured out in my head and it's how I understand it and, and they're in exact agreement with me. I'm like, then you're not doing too bad. I think you've got a good handle on this. You know, or Michael Saylor is an idiot and Peter Dunworth's an idiot and, <laughs> and Dinny is an idiot. <laughs> or, or not an idiot, but perhaps wrong. I don't think we are. But uh, Peter talked about the concept of collateral because Bitcoin is collateral, okay? And this is a bit abstract at the moment, but there's all these products are gonna be built on Bitcoin um, in the very near future. Uh, Peter seems to think that within five years, you'll be able to leverage your collateral, being Bitcoin, your digital collateral, uh, within five years in most commercial banks. Okay, that's how quick these things are gonna happen. Uh, and we already seen that I shared on my Instagram uh, story yesterday that now they're all racing for these ETF products and to offer these products to their customers. Now, when you understand Bitcoin and you understand it as collateral, don't get confused with thinking about it as currency. A lot of people go wrong with the currency uh, side of things. And you're better off not uh, thinking of it as currency because it's confusing. You have a better currency. You have the euro or the pound or the dollar and they are much better currencies. So think of Bitcoin as a property, think of it as a collateral, think of it um, as financial insurance, think of it as, an, as having your wealth outside of the traditional financial system, uh, think of it as having unconfiscatable wealth, rather than thinking of it as a currency. It's not a currency, okay? You don't need to buy coffees with it. Buy your coffees with your euro, or if you want to buy it with your Bitcoin, sell some Bitcoin for euros and then go buy a coffee with it. Now the irony is, you probably will be able to buy a coffee with it in the future. So. When we think of it as collateral, and this is a bit abstract, so I'll just explain it in normal terms, and then we'll bring it to Bitcoin, and it'll be quite easy to understand. As a collateral, okay, let's say if you're a homeowner, 
and you want some money because with money you get to make more money. So what you do is you go to the bank and you say, I have collateral, I have a home, I want to borrow against the value of my home. And the bank will say, yeah, grand, how much you want? And you'll get the more, you'll get the, you'll be able to get the debt on your collateral. And the way the bank are looking at that is, well, if the loan goes bad, at least we have the collateral of the home. And eventually after a few years, we can get them out of the house and we get the house. Now, unfortunately in that arrangement, we've seen it in 2008, the bank actually loses money on that because there's so many middlemen, okay, to get that person out of physical house, it takes years and it's a huge expense to the bank so they actually lose money on the loan and that's why taxpayers have to bail out the banks and that's why your kids can't afford a house in the future because uh, we're carrying all that debt basically, we socialised the losses, we distributed all that debt to all of us uh, through debasing the money, basically taking the value out of our money. Uh, I digress, anyway that's off point. <laughs> um, so. In terms of Bitcoin as collateral, if I go to the bank and I say, I've got one Bitcoin here and one Bitcoin is worth 200,000, 500,000, whatever it's worth, 70 grand today, I want I want money and I'm gonna put my Bitcoin down as collateral. The bank are gonna be, think it, just think it through how good this collateral is. This is pristine collateral because this, pe like the physical house that you've put down as collateral is concreted into the ground and you can't move it anywhere. Okay, so it's stuck there. It's no good to someone in Singapore or Australia or New York. They don't care about that collateral. It's no good to them. Okay, it's only good for someone in your area. But Bitcoin as a piece of collateral is of the same utility to anyone anywhere on the planet because you can fire it across the internet instantly and for free. All right, so it's transportable collateral, perfect collateral. All right, but walk through if you default on the debt, you go bad on the loan. Here's how it looks. You borrow the money, you put down the Bitcoin as collateral, you go bad on the loan. There's just a contract in place. The bank owns the Bitcoin now. There's no one to kick out of the house. You don't have to listen to politicians uh, fighting their case and, and back and forward and a million middlemen to try and actually get the physical property. When it's a digital property, the ownership is just transferred via the contract to the lender. So when you actually realize that, you're like, hmm. So Bitcoin is much better collateral than property. In fact, it's much better collateral than prime real estate, the best property you can get. This is perfect collateral. So therefore, anyone who owns Bitcoin will be really, really lendable to. And Peter's thesis, which we all see the value and can understand in it, is that you will be paid to put up your collateral to allow banks to lend on it. So it's not a case that you can borrow against your Bitcoin. Again, these are the concepts we teach at the Tireley Club and, and um, in consulting, we walk through a little bit of this stuff. But you don't, you know, people on the outside think about buying and selling and creating a taxable event. Wealthy people don't do that, okay? They borrow against their assets and they never sell their assets. And that's how they stay wealthy forever, okay? Only people who don't understand finance, they think about buying and selling, create a big taxable event and have no asset and transfer an asset into a fiat, a euro. So you transfer something that's gone up in value forever, something that's gone down in value forever. It's just stupid stuff. But uh, again, I digress. So when you borrow against the collateral, Bitcoin will be the most favorable collateral. You'll be the most lendable if you have Bitcoin, okay? And our thesis is, is that not even will you have to pay for the debt, you will be paid to take out the debt because the bank can rehypothecate the Bitcoin so much that one Bitcoin will be worth so much to them, they might pay you 50 grand for the privilege. So rather than you having to pay them back the debt, they pay you for the collateral. Totally different concept totally new but remember this piece of collateral is different than every other piece of collateral that we've had in the world so far and that's why no one understands it and that's why people are confused and that's why it's such a huge opportunity so that's what's coming to Bitcoin lending on Bitcoin is coming to Bitcoin and therefore you never have to sell the Bitcoin I hope you have a super day I hope you can start to understand these concepts and I hope you figure out why I come on this thing a couple of times a week and I say figure out Bitcoin study Bitcoin build a Bitcoin pension plan because all this stuff is coming but guys, by the time it's here, by the time it arrives, Bitcoin will not be priced at this price, okay? When you have all the information, the opportunity has passed. That's the way the world works. Fortune favors the brave. Fortune favors people who get asymmetric upper, uh, information and do the work. It's called proof of work. So huge opportunity. Keep learning. We had an amazing call with Peter. Um, it was really good. And uh, I learned a lot. We got to ask a load of questions and that's recorded. So anyone in the Retirely Club, that recording has been posted in the school group now for you to go and catch up on. Happy Friday, guys. Have a really super day. And I'll tell you what's to come for the price of Bitcoin in the short term. We are 
going up. <laughs> Guys, Vinny out for now. Have a super day. Please hit the like button, hit the share button, share this content with friends, family, and uh, get them to go down the orange rabbit hole. Get them to study Bitcoin because life gets easier, life gets better. Vinny out.